So I'm sure you've heard by now, but I want you to translate it to Italian. Yes, I understand. Let's try it. ChatGPT has a new update out and it's GPT 4.0. And at first mm. I questioned if it was going to be any sort of significance. Mm. However, once I put this through the test of some of the new features, I walked away, blown away. So today we're going to go through some of the most impressive things you can do in this new update. And this is one you definitely don't want to miss. I have a friend who only speaks Italian and I only speak English. Every time you hear English, English, I want you to translate it to Italian. And if you hear Italian, I want you to translate it back to English. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Let's try it. Quali sono alcuni dei vostri cibi italiani preferiti? What are some of your favorite Italian foods? Say, I love lasagna. I'm la lasagna. Tell them I also love all sorts of pastas and always, always a good wine. I want anche tutti i tipi di pasta. E sempre, sempre un buon vino. Say you might stato in Italia. You ever been to Italy? Say I definitely haven't, but it's definitely on my bucket list. I am Italian, so I definitely need to go. Sicuramente no. Ma è sicuramente nella mia lista dei desideri. Sono italiano, quindi devo assolutamente andare. Questo è stato davvero fantastico. That was really great. Say I agree. AI is moving so fast, I can't wait to see what the future holds. Sono d'accordo. L'intelligenza artificiale sta avanzando così rapidamente. Non vedo l'ora di vedere cosa ci riserva il futuro. Click the links in the description for hundreds of prompts. Okay, so on this next one, watch at what a powerhouse that this thing is to analyze any sort of spreadsheet or data analysis. So I have a large spreadsheet or a CSV file and I want to get a data analysis and a lot of visualization so the first thing I'll do is just simply enter in this prompt down here at the bottom very simple analyze this spreadsheet do deep technical and statistical analysis on this and then generate charts and visualizations so quite simple the next thing I'm gonna do is head over into my download section and now I'm gonna click and drag this Excel or CSV file and then simply just drop it in here now that it's uploaded you can see it right here here, go ahead and now click submit. Now instantly, here it is up here at the very top. It is displaying the information that is in my spreadsheet. And then just to give you an example of the spreadsheet I actually uploaded, it's this one right here. It's actually an Airtable, but what I did was just go ahead and then download it as a CSV file. And then I put this into chat GPT. And then even speaking of this, I can do the same exact thing with any of my major prompt databases, which has been remarkable. For example, if I open up my Leonardo mega prompts database, which contains thousands of prompts to generate the most amazing and good looking images, just like this, I can go through and look at all of the different prompts, the keywords and fine tune models used, download this as well as a CSV, and then also put that into chat GPT. But I'll show you how I did that in the second but take a look at this first one and how absolutely impressive this is so here is the first chart again i can look at the preview up here i can even expand the whole thing so here's the csv file okay that i uploaded it's in chat gpt i'm gonna go back and now here it is here's the first part of information i got and then the visualization plan but here is where it gets very impressive right down here now it's actually producing these colorful bar charts and graphs and as i scroll down i'm just blown away by what this was able to do, providing all this data, saving me even probably hundreds of hours in the long term with these graphs and charts that it instantly produced. Okay, so quickly, let's do the same thing over here in Leonardo AI. So I don't want to make this too large of a file, so I really need to break it down to a specific sort of a prompt. I'll just go to this one right here. This is going to have 74 rows and uh, I'll download this as a CSV. That way it will be much smaller of a file. Now let's go back over here to chat GPT. There's my prompt. Now this time do the same thing. I'm bringing over my file. I'm going to drop it. Now select generate. Give it a few minutes. You'll be blown away by the results that you're going to get. So here is the breakdown of the columns in the data set. And so in my mega database, I do have a ton of columns, but look at this right here. The details, fine tune model, alchemy preset, full prompt tags, elements, and then date added. It has everything that's in my Leonardo AI mega prompts database. Beautiful. And within a matter of one to two minutes, I'm going 
going to have a lot more charts just like this right here. Now look at this. It's already producing a ton of data and a lot of nice looking colorful charts. Extremely helpful. Okay, now let's go ahead and then check out this next one. As you can see right now, I have my phone on the screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photo, a quick snapshot of these algebra problems. Okay, so just like this, I'm going to go ahead and take my photo. There is my photo in my phone. And now I can do one or two things. Since I'm already in the app, like I'm on here right now, I could stay right here in the app, but I can also click and drag this same photo into chat GPT itself. But to make it easy, let's go ahead and then continue in the app. And I'm going to have chat GPT solve these math problems. Please solve these math problems, hit send, and then let's see if it can do it just simply based off of this photo I literally just took from my notebook. To see that data, just select this little blue button on the right hand side in parentheses, okay, select it. And now it solves them in Python code. Check this out. Here are all of the questions and all of the answers. Beautiful, okay? I'll go ahead and do the same exact thing over here in ChatGPT on my desktop. I dropped in the photo right down here in the bar and I'll say the same exact thing. Okay, the prompt, please solve these math problems, select enter, and then again, give it about 30 to 60 seconds. It will have them all solved. Okay, and look at this. Look how amazing this is. I love the way it's solving these much more on the desktop rather than the app, but nonetheless, it still did a fantastic job. And just like that, it has all of them. Just be careful not to have it do all of your homework. Okay, so now for this next one, I'm going to look up an image of an actual type of sandwich. You can see up here in the search bar, I said chicken pesto sandwich. Now what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and then download this image. Okay, save to downloads. Go back over here to chat GPT with a brand new chat. And now what I'll do is take that same photo. And now I'm going to click and drag it over here in the chat GPT. How do I make this same sandwich? What is the recipe? Okay, and right off the bat, I am 100% impressed because I have to tell you, this is the key thing right here, this ingredient, pesto sauce. I was curious to know if ChatGPT could determine that this indeed is pesto sauce. And again, it got it exactly right. And if I look at the ingredients, in fact, the recipe, everything is perfect and the way it should be. Very impressive. Okay, so on this next one, this other one is still very impressive. What I'll do now is I'm back over here in Google and I just searched up snake game. Okay, let's pull some images of snake game. And let's say I want to use this one right here. Okay, take a screenshot of this image like I'm about to do. Okay, once that screenshot is taken, now you want to come back over to chat GPT and now click and drag it back over here. And now I'm going to say this, create code for this in Python. Now watch this. The next thing I'll do is just wait a few seconds. It's going to create code. Then I'm going to be able to take this same exact code, copy and paste it, and then create my very own personal snake game. Okay, so here it is. It looks like it might be done. Copy the code here. Now you can head over to a tool like replit.com. And now I am going to open up the Python option and now just paste this whole entire code here. And now up in the top, select run. And now we can see over here on the right hand side, here it is. I can even expand it and now it's ready to play this snake game okay beautiful so now this next thing what i'm going to do now i'm over here in a stock market app called seeking alpha so what i'll do is i have bitcoin pulled up btc what i'll do is i'm going to just take a quick screenshot of this chart right here just like this i'm now going to come back over here to chat gpt please analyze this and create helpful charts and graphs along with an explanation so now just drag my image into here and then let's see what it can give us as far as bitcoin is concerned. Okay. And then look almost immediately, it's already going through the process by giving me the summary, the analysis, and now it's creating charts and graphs down here at the bottom. And then there it is. There is the general chart. Beautiful. As I go down, I could see there is my chart. And now I'm getting right below the chart, a lot of different explanations. And then right here, after I expanded more of the charts, here is another one for the volatility comparison compared to the S and P 500. Beautiful job. Okay. So for this next one, now I have a dinner menu pulled up. What I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and then take a screenshot of these two pages right here in the menu. Okay. Come back over here to chat GPT and get a new chat going. And now I'm going to say, what is the most expensive item on this menu? I haven't even looked at it, but I'm just simply going to put full faith into chat GPT. Everything is in here. Now select enter. And just to see before it gives us our analysis, let's just take a quick look and see if we can quickly determine what 
the most expensive meal is to verify if it did get it right. A Kansas City strip. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. We have two items. What did ChatGPT said? Okay, here we go. The most expensive item on this menu is the Brunson 35-day dry-aged Kansas City strip, 20 ounce, priced at $95. Amazing. Okay, so last but not least, but this is also a very good one. Now, we did this earlier where I showed you, you, you can upload different charts and graphs and then get an analysis, but did you know you can also have your charts be fully interactive? Watch this. So after it's been analyzed, all these columns, I can click like I showed you earlier and let's go ahead and expand this table. So here is the table I have that I got from my Leonardo AI prompts database, okay? On the right-hand side, look at the data. It's still showing me all of the data that it pulled from earlier, leaving all of this information in place, okay? It's also given me options underneath next steps where I can choose more of these options where it says, let's create these visualizations. I can select one of these by a simple click and then ChatGPT will go further and even provide more analysis. But now, even further, since I have this already expanded, I'm now gonna select a column, okay? Notice I have the fine-tuned model column highlighted. Look at this over here in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. ChatGPT knows this because now it shows me in this blue text, fine-tuned model column. Watch this, I can ask a specific question regarding this column itself. Check this out. What model is used the most? Select enter and then let's see what happens. The most used model in this data set is Albedo Base XL, which appears 49 times. Amazing. Now this one is even more helpful. So say for an example, you have one of my mega prompts databases and you want to search for a specific prompt. In this case, um, you're trying to create a prompt of a woman. Okay, so I just said which rows contain the word woman. And then just like that, look, it's gonna go ahead and then instantly give me all of the rows that do contain the word woman from row zero all the way down to row 71. Amazing job. Now, here is the most important part. Watch this. So last but not least, I'm gonna take these prompts Okay, so let's say for an example, I'm going to highlight this AI bonus prompt one. Watch this. Now, I want to get more prompts. What I'll simply say now is for each row, rewrite the prompt for each row, but only rows one through, let's just say one through 10, okay? So here are all the ones I get. These are my AI bonus prompts. These are gonna be prompts that are created by AI based off of my original one. But now I wanna take these prompts and then get even more prompts. And then look at this, just like that, it's doing it all. Watch this, let's take it even further. Same thing, I'm gonna say, we write these prompts for rows one to five, completely different from the original. Use your own imagination and creativity. You have full control. Okay, let's give it full control. And now let's see if we can get some completely different style of prompts. Okay, pretty good. Uh, if I'm looking at them, I can look at the original and then look at the rewritten. And then again, it is it is completely different. The original prompt contains these two words right here, okay? But then notice the rewritten prompt does not. Completely opposite. The same thing. I can look at row number three. In the phosphorescent glow, however, rewritten prompt does not contain the word phosphorescent, but it does contain bioluminescent. So similar, however, completely different. So there you have it. With the new ChatGPT update, you can now see that this does some amazing things. But again, this is only scratching the surface. There are also so many other amazing things it could do too, but we'll save those for another video. But let me know what you guys think. Have you tried some of these things? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. Until then, we'll see you next time.